All right, Mark here, Life and Fitness Files. Today I'm going to be sharing information about Dr. Peter Atia's Four Pillars of Exercise for Longevity and Fitness. This is something that I've been diving into and think it's super important and applicable to anyone. So one bit of information that Dr. Peter Atia talks about a lot is centenarian decathlon. So he bases a lot of his training and work that he does with patients around this term, which essentially is training to be functional and enjoying life in the last decade. So in this video, I'm going to cover what are the four pillars of exercise for longevity and functionality from Dr. Peter Atia. Who does this apply to and who can do this? And three, how can I start? What if I do not have a lot of time? First, the four pillars. We have aerobic efficiency. Second, anaerobic performance. Third is strength. And fourth is stability, mobility, balance. And these are not in any particular order. They're all important. So aerobic efficiency, which is essentially zone two training. And it is 80% of max heart rate. For those of you who use Garmin out there, it really would be uh, mid to low zone three um, for that 80% range. So think of zone two as running, incline walking, biking, essentially anything that can get your heart rate up where you can talk, but it's not comfortable to keep talking, but it's not super easy. Um, a walk would not be in what he considers zone two. I'm going to create some other videos on this as there's a huge amount of information about this and some different protocols or ways that you can work in this pillar. Next, we have anaerobic performance. This is high intensity max heart rate work, essentially building our VO2 max. So one of the things to keep in mind is he talks about creating a triangle where you want to have a large base, which is our aerobic efficiency zone two and that increases our mitochondrial functioning and the ability to shuttle glucose, etc. Then you have the peak of the triangle is our anaerobic performance, our VO2 max. You don't want a high peak with no base as well as you don't want a huge base and you have no ability to create a high peak in VO2 max. You want both. So really you want to be working on both simultaneously. As we age, we lose aerobic efficiency as well as anaerobic performance. So these are things we want to try to stave off as we get older. So we want to get that triangle as big as we can, as early as we can, depending on when we're starting and where we're starting. So the third pillar is strength. This is obviously moving weights through space. It could be um, kettlebells, dumbbells, barbells, machines. One of the essential workouts that he talks about a lot is using a deadlift um, to build strength through multiple parts of our body. Talks a lot about multi-joint movements, um, presses, bench press, the deadlift, squats, different types of rows. So multi-joint movements are great. Um, doesn't have to be that, but th those are going to hit a lot of the major muscle groups. Um, strength. As we age, we will lose muscle. That is just a fact. So as much as we can put on lean muscle mass before we start losing it, the better we will be. And if we can maintain that for as long as possible, even better. And the fourth pillar, we have stability. Um, I think of this as it can be mobility, also balance foot strength, toe dexterity. Um, I've gotten some barefoot shoes. I'll share some information, some reviews on those. Um, I do feel like my, my foot strength has definitely improved from having those. Um, hip and joint stability, um, the use of small muscles that have a high use um, and different important functions, you know, like our medial glute muscles. Well, these are, there's some small muscles that help us to be able to move in certain ways but if we don't work those muscles, they are going to atrophy and or get weak or lead to other injuries. 
So stability to him is really building multiple parts of our body that we don't often focus on and ha doing that with purpose. Um, another area that I personally put in here is core strength, the ability to stabilize our body, which I think fits in stability, um, but core strength meaning our back all the way around through to our abs. To cover these again, aerobic efficiency, anaerobic performance, strength and stability. I'm gonna be creating some other videos of routines, protocols, how it's worked for me, what I do, and things that I'm still learning. Next, I wanted to just cover real quick, who does this apply to? Can this work for me? I did not start doing really a lot of working out, muscle building, weight training, um, even aerobic fitness until a year or two ago. Um, and I've been pretty consistent with it in the last couple of years, especially the last year, even six months. Um, so this can apply to anyone, no matter what your age. People have a huge amount of capability. A lot of it is the will to do it. It's not an easy thing to do, but this can apply to anyone. You'd want to start, start slow and build up. Um, you want to avoid injury, but in the long run, doing all these things is going to help you avoid injury, but you don't want to jump in it, into it too fast that you get injured in the process. So no matter what your age, and where you're starting, I've never done anything to, you know, I used to do some things or I'm pretty fit, but I wanna get more focused. You can start at any age and there's gonna be a huge benefit. These are going to help us to stave off some of those challenges as we get older. Losing muscle mass, losing mobility, losing our ability to walk upstairs or go on a walk or a hike. So last part, I wanted to talk about is how can I start? What if I don't have a lot of time? We're all busy and sometimes it's just hard to dedicate time to some of these aspects of fitness. If you can dedicate two to three hours per week, that is a great starting point. More is better, but if you're going from nothing to something, that's gonna have a huge amount of benefit. So one way to think of this is let's say you have three hours to dedicate through a week. One hour to some steady state um, zone two. This might be two 30 minute chunks throughout the week, wherever you can fit that in. Um, I'll give some more information on some routines that I do. One hour to strength. This could be three 20 minute sessions. It could be two 30 minute sessions, maybe um, some upper and lower body mixed in twice a week or three times per week. Then giving 20, 30 minutes to some VO2 high intensity work. Um, going back to the previous comments, if you haven't done this before, you're not gonna wanna jump into super intense things without building some of that aerobic base so that you don't injure yourself. But once you get going, you wanna work on that VO2 max, 20, 30 minutes a week. And then you also wanna focus on that stability, 30 minutes a week. This would be better split up even 10 minutes three times per week. So in a three hour chunk of time spread out through the week, I think that's doable for a lot of people. It does take a commitment and does take focus, but anyone would be able to do that if you really commit to it. I've noticed a huge difference in my ability to focus, how I feel, my movement by being able to do these things. So it will increase your quality of life in the moment as well. If you do something, you don't have to be perfect at any of this, but if you do something, you are going to increase your longevity and decrease all-cause all mortality by like 30 to 50% just by being active and doing some of these things. The single most effective way to increase lifespan and quality of life really is exercise. It's not simple, it's not easy, but the benefits are incredibly huge. I'm gonna be digging into some other aspects of wellness, sleep, nutrition, mental health, um, some other routines like breathing, tracking, goal setting, etc. But if you have any specific questions about some of the routines for Dr. Peter Atia's four pillars, please let me know. I'm gonna be posting some things about the zone two stuff, VO2 max, strength, 
and then stability there's things that i do but i'm still also increasing my knowledge around this area so be sure to like and subscribe to this video stay up to date as i post new videos and once i get those i will be posting those into the description below thank you for listening here's to life and fitness peace out of what you might lose walking miles in someone else's show